So I want to talk a little bit about cryptography and some cryptography principles. Um, the first is easy and hard problems, and this is really what public-private key cryptography is based off of. There are some problems that are very easy one way, but difficult another way. And a great example of this is multiplication. So if I give you a pen and paper and a lot of time, I can ask you to multiply any two numbers and you can probably come up with an answer fairly easily. What's a lot more difficult is if I give you the product of two numbers and ask you to factor that. Find out all the numbers you can multiply together to get that result. That's a much harder problem. And this is how public-private key cryptography works. Um, we use an easy mathematical problem to generate a message, but we make it very, very hard for that message to be uh, decrypted by someone who shouldn't decrypt it. And public and private keys play a big role in blockchain. I want to show you right now I've got two different wallets. I've got a wallet that you're probably used to, that you keep money in, and then I've got a hardware wallet, a digital wallet that you'd use to trade something like Bitcoin or Ether. Now, what you're used to in your regular wallet is putting money in here, and you keep your money in here, and if you lose this, whoever finds it gets your money and they get to spend it. In blockchain, with cryptocurrencies, it's a little bit different. The only thing that ever gets kept in here is your private key. And a private key, public key work together so that I can use a private key to sign, digitally sign, any message. You can then take the public key, which anyone can know, and use that to verify that my specific private key was the one that actually signed that message. And so you can know, uh, without a doubt, that I'm the one who created that message, that no one was pretending to be me sending this message. And this is how it works trading digital currencies back and forth. If I decide I'm going to pay you three Bitcoin and I'm going to do it out of this hardware wallet or any software wallet, any kind of digital currency, the only thing that's kept on this device is my private key and it never leaves. And so that means if I want to send you some money, all I'm doing is accessing the private key on this device to sign a message that gets transmitted to the blockchain that says I'm paying you some Bitcoin or some Ether or some Litecoin. And my public key is used to verify that that message actually did come from the wallet that says it did. Um, and this is how we trade cryptocurrencies back and forth. And that's what makes the concept of a digital wallet a little bit different. If I happen to lose this, I haven't lost the money that's in it because there's no money ever in it. All that money is is just a record on the blockchain. And as long as I can recover that private key somehow, I can just get a new device, start using my private key again, and keep right on trading. So that's how public and private keys fit into blockchain. Very key component, just understand that they're used to sign and verify any transactions that you make.